Yeah, what's your overall relationship with wrestling? With wrestling, it, with respect to what? Just how you view it. I mean, of course, you were born into it, but over the course of time, is it something that you've always loved or how have you had a relationship with the sport? I mean, uh, I, you know, um, my dad said he's only coached two guys that loved wrestling. Uh, I can't remember, like, truly loved it uh, growing up while they were wrestling. I mean, my brother Johnny loves the sport now probably more than I do. It, 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 it actually flipped. I, um, when I was, when I was competing, I loved it. Um, um, uh, but I will say that, um, now I have a different set of glasses cause I have an 11 year old son who competes or well, he wrestles and he, it's a good wrestling club around here. It's called bomb squad. Um, but I don't like the youth. I don't like where wrestling is taking youth wrestlers in America. Um, and I, it's probably best that I leave it at that. Other than um, if, 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 um, if I'm going to lean one way or the other, I, I would say kind of the Russian mentality that you don't really compete until you're a teenager um, or until you're older. And you're emotionally ready to. Um, I mean, Moran Karchalava, when I coached with him at Ohio State, he always said, my kid, <laughs> my kid will not wrestle Mitch till eighth grade. I was like, yeah, right. Not a chance. And, you know, sure enough. And then when Carson did wrestle his son, he became a, you know, he's a world beater now. And I think, I think, I think there's something to be said about that. Now, in the same breath, there's kids that started like kids like David Taylor and maybe Logan Steber, I believe, who wrestled two divisions in every weight class or every, you know, peewee tournament they went to and was on the whole circuit and never got burnt out. But I just think that it's uh, there's for the most part, there's not many of those people around. You feel like you started too young? No, that was my father. He, I got exposed early and I think that's important. You know, just like when I talked about Carson, I mean, he was probably going to all of Moran's camps. Um, I was doing my dad's wrestling camps and everything, but I also, we went to like five tournaments a year and they were local ones. You know, the first time I wrestled out of state was when I went over to, you know, uh, over to Europe. And I, again, for me, um, I was fresh, you know, I, in college, I was just ready to, ready to roll, you know, and I was just coming on. Now, that's how I, that's the approach I've taken with my son, um, where, you know, once a, once a week he's in tumbling where he's doing, you know, pretty aggressive, you know, backflips and forward stuff. And it's part of a class that they do that's not related to wrestling. So I try to, I try to train him in not just um, beating him down in the, in the wrestling room. You know, I want him to be fresh and love the sport at the right time. Um, the downside to that is he's, you know, he, he's, he's not an elite wrestler right now, but um, for me, he, if you, if you're burnt out, you're, you, when you're done, you're done. Right. So I'd rather him have a fighting chance when, when the time comes where it's important. Well, a lot of people say, well, Mitch, what about all your boot camps all across the country? You know, or you're, you're kind of a hypocrite, but you know, I, if you come to one of my wrestling camps, you maybe do two or three live matches. Um, and, and they're not, I mean, it's just, you know, honing your skills. Yeah. We're doing 11 hours of technique. So I'm, you know, I try to have fun, learn a lot and throw a little wrestling in there. Um, and it, that's my philosophy with my camps and the way I'm raising my child.